John Reardon, Designing Politics. Education, save its oppressive or perverted expressions, has never meant anything but this, to arrange the forms of knowledge in such a way that some truth may come to pierce a hole in them. Alam Vadieu. Preamble. The growing prevalence of emergencies through war, forced migration, climate change, environmental destruction, as near everyday events, requires to engage with and learn from these events, not as extraordinary and aberrant, not as chaotic and out of control until they are somehow fixed and returned to normal, made whole and improved on, but as spaces of improvisation, ingenuity, creativity and ultimately survival. We need to learn from these events as part of the pedagogical work we engage in for our future survival. We need to understand how this work can reshape formal education curricula. We need to do this as a matter of urgency. Designing Politics is the name of a radical pedagogy developed by John Reardon and Michael Dutton in the Politics Department at Goldsmiths University of London. This is an emergency pedagogy for the 21st century, which challenges participants, students and staff to engage the world in its chaos and contemporaneity. My name is John Reardon. I'm an I'm artist in residence in the politics department at Goldsmiths University of London. I'm interested in questions of efficacy and incommensurability, in how art is made public and how public is constituted through art. These interests are shaped by the context-specific conditions, expectations and limitations of body, space, architecture, environment and infrastructure. My work, object, installation, performance, pedagogy, curation and writing, also includes a long-term engagement with academic institutions, which began in Goldsmiths when I was invited to interview for the post of artist in residence in the politics department with the purpose of creating an MA Art and Politics program in the department. I engaged in this journey with Michael Dutton, whom I have co-taught with for over 10 years, from the somewhat paradoxical position that art cannot be taught in the politics department. To do so would be to predetermine what an art of politics or political art should be, and conversely what an art department excludes or overlooks in terms of art. The first thing to be lost in this process, which in itself is a political project, is the contingency of art is art's ability to speak in different tongues simultaneously. In other words, what is vital to art? We engage this paradox by treating the art world as a near-infinite collection of ideas that can be explored in terms of how they evolve to form, how they become what they are. We have developed a similarly exploratory approach to other fields and disciplines in response to the demands of the project work at the core of a pedagogy we continue to be in the process of developing in an attempt to create space for disparate forms of connectivity to evolve between collective bodies and bodies of knowledge. This journey has resulted in designing politics in the space of potential, a possibility and potential. The pedagogy is intra, cross, inter, trans and multidisciplinary. It is at the same time promiscuous, flexible and focused. Less about teaching, explication and clarification and more about collective, exploratory, critical and creative learning, which according to Ivan Illich, requires peers currently puzzled about the same terms or problems, de-schooling society. Uh, while the work we do in Goldsmiths, Department of Politics, MA Art and Politics, Designing Politics, is specific to a particular academic context, we understand this context to be contingent and permeable and to speak to other contexts within and beyond academia. Our approach produces a flexible gaze on the work we do as we're doing it and also proposes a more robust encounter with the world as it refuses to sustain that moment of distinction between what Rex Media Collective describe as being someone and becoming someone. In other words, that posthumous moment of arrival, graduation, qualification, when one is deemed competent to speak, that moment of distinction according to Jacques Ronci is part of the temporal structure of delay, root and explication, and which according to Ronci, wrought an eliminating capacity in fact creates it. A little further along, a little later, a few more explanations and you'll see the light, the ignorant schoolmaster. The pedagogy is constructed around three interlocking parts. One, what students, participants bring to the course. Two, the duration of the course, three, a set of limitations which ideas can be continuously tested against to understand how they become material, context, duration, distribution, publics. These interlocking parts carry obligations and demands which are activated when students enter the space and which are designed to push towards the specificity and focus of their collective work, bringing to this work its own particularity and contemporaneity. In practice, designing politics forms around collectively generated public work that often outlives the course and program to reworld a student's future practice. The course is undertaken each year by between 20 and 25 students working in collectives of five. 
past, present, and future interest. Designing politics begins through engaging students across multiple platforms with what they bring to the course in terms of practice, research, interest, desire, and curiosity. During this process, collectives begin to form, content begins to be produced, and projects begin to evolve. This process also ensures that collective work always speaks to the contemporary and belongs to those that generate this, duration and space. This is a process-based 11-week course, during which time people and ideas are engaged with and move through the space. And learning takes place in these moments and encounters and through intuitions, instinct and serendipity, and how things coalesce around a particular form or thing in common which for Rancé as Jacques Couture and the Ignorant Schoolmaster was the 24-volume novel Telemac in 1699. And I, in the person of J Joseph Jacques Couture, creates the obligation for students and participants to gather to collectively do this work, even if the course works on the basis that most of the collective work involved in the project takes place beyond the formal five-hour class, which convenes weekly for collective tutorials, seminars, guest lectures, and workshops in our slightly too small single-story space on the edge of campus. The space known as the shed is heated and internet connected. It contains a kitchen, tool room, and talking space. And paradoxically, within the context of a neoliberal university that seems to be concerned less with education and more with its real estate portfolio, it belongs to students. The five technologies, material, context, publics, duration, and distribution, these can best be described as five in interrelated elements which students, participants, are obliged to resolve in terms of their collective work through the specificity and potential each of these elements bring to their work. The five technologies are designed to help identify ideas in terms of what they are, how they are, and where they belong in the world, and how they might shape experience and meaning. In this way, they invariably push a project beyond the classroom and beyond academia, unless academia and the work we do there becomes the context and subject of the work while bringing a continuous, critical, reflexive gaze to this work. The five technologies are also designed to be impartial in how they do this and how they privilege neither discipline nor direction, but follow the work wherever this goes, whether into an art world to become art or into other worlds to be named accordingly. At the same time, the five technologies are developed to be rigorous and focused in how they challenge and push towards the specificity of the work the collective is currently engaged in. And while each project will contain its own particular expression of these five elements, as each one falls into the other, one or more of these elements will be foregrounded depending on the project. Material. By material, we ask about the thingness of the work, object, action, performance, event. The thingness that frames, carries, embodies, highlights, points to the quality of encounter it seeks to create. We ask about the kinds of practical steps required to achieve this and how many of these steps are currently known or knowable. In other words, what bearing does the question of context have in this work? Context. By context, we ask about how our work belongs in the world and what does it mean to belong. And this is not to suggest a congenial and harmonious relationship between the work and its belonging. We ask how does this belonging shape or reshape what one does and how or where something should belong. As this belonging may change the thing itself, as it may change the place it belongs to, or the place may in fact be the thing itself, in asking how a work belongs in a context, we also raise the possibility of the work operating in multiple contexts, either simultaneously, randomly, or in sequence. In other words, how is the question of duration understood in relation to the work? Duration. By duration, we ask how and where the work is located and for how long. We ask how long is appropriate for the work. Whether the answer is temporary or permanent, the question of how long still exists, as well as the attendant practical considerations that come with this. What material is this? Is it something that degrades, melts, disappears, evaporates, blows away? Is it space or time? How is the work understood to be finished, complete? Does it have an afterlife, and if so, for whom? This in turn raises the question of distribution. Distribution. By distribution, we ask how is the work available for an encounter with people and things? What is the primary encounter with the work? Is it, is it available in the form of a secondary and tertiary encounter? And how does it change in this process? Are these different kinds of encounters with the work equally valid? What kinds of questions does this raise about documentation of the work? And might this be different to possible multiple kinds of encounters with the work and how images and text might circulate? This also brings us to the question of publics, audience. The work is directed towards or shared with. Publics. By publics, we ask how, where, and to whom the work is available. Is the publics a general public? 
a random or known public? Or is it identifiable more specifically as a collective, group, community or organization? Does the public have a prior knowledge of the thing you do and the context in which you do this? Or some sense that what you have done will be available, public, on show? Does the idea of a public imply a priori knowledge of the work, a particular context within which it circulates? Running through and connecting these five elements are the effective and process-based dimensions of the pedagogy. Please go to johnreardon.info forward slash Florida. Thank you.